Folks, good guy Glenn, the Viking Realtor here, and today I'm in Raritan, New Jersey, at the John Bassalone Memorial Statue. Today is November 10th, 2021, the 246th birthday of the United States Marine Corps, and I thought it would be fitting to come and pay respects to a hero of mine, uh, John Bassalone. I was no 331 machine gunner in the Marine Corps, and John Bassalone was also a machine gunner. So throughout my career in the Marines, we always heard the stories and the deeds of what Big John Bassalone did that faithful night that he earned the Medal of Honor. On October 24th and 25th of 1942, on Guadalcanal in the Solomon Islands. John was machine gun section leader of two machine gun sections in 1st Battalion, 7th Marines. They were holding their position when they made an enemy contact and they started to become overrun. John did some legendary things that night. Despite putting himself in grave danger, he ran to resupply his machine gunners. And at one point, when the bodies piled up so high, John went out and dropped down the pile of bodies to continue the firefight. For these actions, John was awarded the Medal of Honor by President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. After this time, John got to go home stateside where he went on a bond drive for the war effort. But he felt that his experience was best needed in the Pacific Theater. So he returned. On the 19th of February, 1945, on Iwo Jima, Gunnery Sergeant John Bassalone made the ulti ultimate sacrifice for his country. That's the most hard charger shit you can do. Sorry. On the 19th of February, 1945, on Iwo Jima, Gunnery Sergeant John Bassalone, while attached to 1st Battalion, 27th Marines, gave his life, paid the ultimate sacrifice for the freedom of this country. For this, we always should be greatly in his debt. He's a great Marine. And a personal hero. John was a main character in the HBO miniseries, The Pacific, um, although loosely based on his life. It's a great watch about a great man. 
They called him Manila John because he had joined the army and he was stationed in Manila. Philippines. They called him Manila John because he was in the army, stationed in the Philippines. And um, later on, joining the Marine Corps, wanting to be the best. John was the epitome of a grunt, of a Marine's Marine. Just adjacent to John's statue is this lovely little park dedicated to all those who paid the ultimate price for freedom and sacrificed their lives for our country. I really think it's awesome that Raritan respects and honors their heroes the way that they have. That's why I decided to make this pilgrimage here today from my home on the most appropriate of days, the Marine Corps birthday, to pay my respects to a great man, an outstanding Marine, and a personal hero, John Bassalone. down to the Memorial Park. There's all these places to sit along the Raritan River. As you get further away from the main road, it's a real nice, quiet, tranquil place.
I oftentimes, especially days like today, like to reflect on my service, uh, my time in the Marine Corps, and um, those who came before me. I have the utmost respect for the sacrifice that these guys made. Um, it's just very puzzling to me what's going on otherwise in this country. People tend to think it's like really unusual the way that Marines act on November 10th every year. It's our birthday. It was the day in 1775 the Continental Congress decided that they needed two battalions of Marines. So they went to Tun Tavern a bar in Philadelphia and they recruited enough men for two battalions of Marines and that's how our Marine Corps was born. The amount of people from our state, New Jersey, who did great things for this country, not just in the wars, but particularly in this instance, why we're here for John. Um, it's, I feel proud that John's from the state of New Jersey. I, um, I think it's great. It's one of the greatest stories in the Marine Corps to sacrifice oneself for his country, for his unit. And there's a lot of people who are going to watch this who just, just don't get it. That's, that doesn't matter. This isn't made for you. You could leave your comments in the comment section. This really, I did this because today is November 10th and I've been wanting to document the statue for some time. I wanted to come in the summer, but then I always put it off because I thought the best time to do this would be today. And I was hoping to have this video out today. So what I'll do is I'll go home, I'll go to my office, and I'll let it down this video and I'll put it out. But I wanted to document this monument and I wanted to pay my respects to the great John Bassalone.
Well, that's going to about wrap it up for us here at the John Bassalone Memorial statue and the Memorial Park that's down here along the Raritan River. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, please subscribe, share this video to anyone who you think might be interested in Marine Corps history or New Jersey history or things to do around New Jersey. And as always, this is Good Guy Glenn, the Viking Realtor. Thanks for watching.